Hanging by a thread Hung upon all the words you said Breaking free from this conformity that you forced Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's makeup tutorial is going to be this olive sparkle makeup tutorial. So the first step is going to be applying our primer all over our lid. I'm just using Soft Ochre Paint Pot which is from MAC and I'm just going to be applying this all over my lid to make sure we cancel out all the colours and just make sure it's all one even colour and this is just going to make sure everything stays on and appears a lot more vibrant. Next I'm going to be taking my bronzer and use this as our first transition shade. I'm just taking a big fluffy brush and just applying this into the crease and just going in side to side motions to create a really nice even blend and this will help all the colours we're going to apply later on blend out perfectly. Then next I'm going to be going in with uninterrupted eyeshadow from MAC and just taking a blending brush and applying this into the deeper part of our crease. We want to try and apply as much colour as we can just so that this colour looks really nice and pigmented in the crease. So I'm just going back and forth between brushes and just making sure it's really nice and blended out. Along with it being blended you want to make sure that it's really nice and pigmented also. Next I'm going to be taking this chocolate shade from the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette and applying this into our crease. This is going to be the darkest crease colour we're going to be applying because I didn't really want to go for a really smoky look. So I'm just applying this into my outer V and just going back and forth and just kind of blending it into the crease and taking the brush we used beforehand and just blend it out. We want to make sure that this colour blends into the other colours that we applied beforehand. Then I'm just taking that first brush we applied to make sure that everything is blended out. Go back as much as you need to to make sure that dark brown is as pigmented as possible. Next I'm going to be taking this Sugar Peel pigment and my MAC Fix Plus and I'm going to be wetting my brush before applying the pigment. I'm just going to be applying the pigment all over my lid just to make sure that this colour appears nice and vibrant and I'm just applying this all over the lid and just leaving a very tiny little bit on the outer corner just so it blends into that brown. Then I'm going to be taking this gold and applying it straight on top. This will just create a more olivey effect because this pigment that I had wasn't really an olive colour, it was more of a green. I'm just applying this on top to ensure that it looks more olive than green. Then I'm taking the MAC Reflex Glitter in gold and just applying this on top to give it a really gorgeous sparkly effect and just patting it on as much as I need to. Next I'm going to be applying my false lashes just to give us some extra drama. I wanted to skip the liner today just because a lot of you guys were requesting some looks that didn't use eyeliner so I just apply my lashes straight on. Next we're going to get started with the skin and I'm applying the Natural Radiance Primer from MAC and just applying this all over my skin to ensure that my skin is nice and hydrated and my foundation stays on. And then I am going to be mixing my MAC Match Master and my Dream Satin Liquid from Maybelline and just mixing them together because they weren't the right colours and also their different textures so it just kind of creates a matte but glowy texture at the same time so I really like mixing foundations at the moment because you can come up with some really nice combinations so I'm just applying that with my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion sponge and just bouncing this into my skin as you can see I've done my eyebrows and the tutorial will be in the description box if you guys want to know how I achieve my eyebrows Next I'm going to be applying some concealer under my eyes and just creating a triangle effect to highlight my cheekbones and then I'm also going to be applying this onto my forehead and the bridge of my nose. I went ahead and finished off that triangle shape with a lighter concealer just to really highlight them areas.
Then I'm going to be blending that out with my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge again, just to make sure that everything is really well blended and there are no harsh lines. I'm just using lots of bouncing motions to make sure that, that blends in really evenly but I also keep the coverage and bouncing is really good for keeping that amount of coverage. Next I'm going to be taking my Sigma 3D HD precision brush and just getting into the areas that are really hard to reach and this will just make it a lot easier to get right up to the line of my eye and right up to my eyebrow without affecting the makeup that I applied on before. Next I'm going to be setting my under eyes with my MAC CC Corrector Powder in Neutralize and just applying this under my eyes and I'm going to leave it there for a brief amount of time just so that it kind of bakes on my under eyes for a little bit and I'm just applying this in a triangular shape to brighten and highlight my under eyes. Then I'm just going to take the excess on that sponge and just bounce it onto my forehead because that area does get quite oily and then I'm going to be dusting that powder away with my Real Techniques setting brush. Next I'm going to be taking that pigment that we applied onto our lid and start to apply that on the bottom lash line. I'm going to be doing the same with the glitter and just applying that on top of it to create a really gorgeous sparkly effect. Then I'm going to be taking some nude eyeliner and applying that into my waterline. Next I'm going to be going into some mascara to balance the top and the bottom lashes and just to make the lashes look nice and long and voluminous. Then I'm going to be taking a light pigment and just applying this onto my inner corner just to create a really nice bright eyed effect. You can skip this step but this just really helps to open up your eyes. I'm also applying some of that onto my brow bone. Next I'm going to be bronzing my skin just to give us a light amount of colour and just to shape our face a little bit as well. Then I am going to be taking the Hot Mama Blusher from the Balm and just applying that to the apples of my cheeks and rolling it backwards. Then I am taking the Becca Opal Highlighter and just applying that to my cheekbone. Next I'm going to be lining my lips with the Rimmel Cappuccino Lip Liner. My camera cut it out so I just lined my lips with that and then I am taking a soft matte lip cream and just applying that all over my lips. So guys, that's the end of this look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and it was easy to follow. Please don't forget to comment down below what you would like to see next and if you enjoyed this video. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. So don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe if you haven't. And I will talk to you later. Bye guys. Mwah. Thank you.